Hi guys! Yeet WooCommerce Watermark is a plugin for WooCommerce that allows you to create watermarks to protect your product images. You can create watermarks from text, from an image you upload, or from your own logo, and then play with several options like choosing the position of the watermark or repeat it throughout the whole image, and then you can also choose the opacity to make it transparent or not. In this video, we're going to show you how to create custom watermarks to apply to your product images. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is activate the plugin. So let's go over to Plugins, Install Plugins, and I'm going to look for my watermark plugin right here. And I'm going to click on activate. The plugin is activated right now. So with our Yid WooCommerce watermark plugin, we can create global watermarks that will be applied to all of the product's images. And we can create custom watermarks for specific products. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to create a global watermark for all of the products in the shop. And then we're going to overwrite that global watermark with a different one for a specific product. Okay. So let's go over to Yid watermark. Here we have the global watermarks. Okay. We're going to add a new one right here. And this one is going to be from a custom image. So here we can name the watermark. We're going to leave this name and I'm going to upload my image right here. I'm going to choose this one. We're going to enable this option, repeat image. This option is going to repeat that watermark throughout the whole image, okay? We are not going to touch this. This is the scale of the watermark related to the image size. Then we have the opacity option. We're just going to leave this at 100. Because this image is a PNG file, so this file is already transparent. You know that when I showed you the image that I was going to upload, it was pretty transparent. So I don't need to change this, but in case the image didn't happen to be transparent, we would just need to change this to make it transparent. Then we have this option, apply watermark to all categories or only to specific categories. I'm going to leave this one selected. And then here we can choose what images to apply the watermark to, okay? I'm going to click here on add all. So this is going to add the watermark to the WooCommerce single product image, the thumbnail in the catalog, the gallery thumbnail, and to the full size images, the ones that you can see in model windows with a zoom or light box and so on. And lastly, here you can see a preview of that watermark. You can maybe see this watermark image better now. I'm going to close this and save watermark. Okay, so now I have this one created and saved, but it hasn't been applied to the product's images yet. So I'm going to go back to the watermarks list and I'm going to switch this applied option to yes. And now the plugin is applying the watermark. This might take a couple of minutes depending on how many images there are on your site. Okay, so now you see that this indicates that the watermark has been applied. I'm going to go to the site and as you can see right here, there are no watermarks on my images. I'm going to refresh the site and here are my watermarks. As you can see, I'm going to click on this one. And here's the watermark as well. And if I hover over the image, I also get to see the watermark. So this was a global watermark that we created. And this one is applied to all of the images as long as I set it up this way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom watermark for just one of these products images by going over to the dashboard, products, and I'm going to select this product and we're going to scroll down to watermark to product data watermark. And right here you can see it reads create watermarks to apply to the images of this specific product. These watermarks will override the default ones. So I'm going to create a watermark specifically for this product. 
we have to name this watermark I'm going to name this watermark signature because I'm going to create a watermark from an image that I'm going to upload here that has a signature on it and this is going to be an image type watermark again I'm going to select the image there choose I am not going to repeat this image because as I said it's a signature it might look nicer if it's just the signature once I am not going to change the scale this time and what I'm going to do is set the opacity to 60 okay there this way it's a little transparent but not that much it's still visible okay we're going to choose position and alignment position middle in alignment center I'm going to apply this watermark to all of the images related to this product so once again I click on add all you can see a preview right here but I'm just going to add the watermark so we can see it on the side I'm going to update and now let's go see that product on the side there we go so here is the watermark that I just added, the signature watermark. And you can see this is on the single product image on this single product page. And then if I hover over this image, I also get to see the watermark. And if I go back to the shop, you can see every other image has the first watermark that I created, the global watermark. But this one doesn't because I chose to overwrite that global watermark and create my own watermark for this specific product. Now let's go back to the dashboard. So basically that watermark can be seen on every single image for that product, okay? On the single product image, on the thumbnail catalog image, on the gallery thumbnail image, and on the full size image. But what if I don't want to show it on every single image? What if I want to show the watermark on the product image in the product page and not in the shop page? Instead of adding all, we can remove all and we can simply click here and we will have this drop down menu where we can see all of the options available. So I'm just going to select WooCommerce single, okay? That's all I'm going to select. I'm going to update watermark and I'm going to update right here back to that product page so here's the single product image with the watermark if I hover over the image you're going to see that the watermark disappears there's no watermark here because I just didn't choose to apply it on the full size image only on the single product one this looks really nice this way, like a photographer's signature added as watermark to the picture to protect it. Let's go over to the shop. You see that the rest of the images have the global watermark, but this one doesn't because we chose to overwrite that watermark and it doesn't have the specific image watermark we created for it because we chose to have it applied only to the single product image now how about we create a new watermark for this product let's go over to the dashboard all products edit and we're going to scroll down to product data watermarks remember that this will override the global watermarks and let's click on add watermark so we'll name this one text watermark and instead of choosing the image watermark type, we're going to choose the text watermark type. The watermark text is going to be copyright ETH. And then we have typography options. We can choose the font. We have all these options. We're going to select Open Sans. And then let's select the color. White would be nice. And we're going to change the size to 30. Then there's an option to rotate the text watermark so that it's not straight across the image here, here, or here. So we're going to choose to rotate the text a little bit, just about 25 degrees. Then we can choose to show the text inside a box or not. We're going to enable this so you can see this box. 
The first option I get is to add padding to the box. So basically if you change it to more than zero, you're going to be making the box a bit bigger by adding space between the text and the border of the box. We're going to set the top to 20 and then the rest is automatically updated to match the first one, okay? Then we can choose the background color. Let's do gray. We have the option to repeat the text, but we're not going to do that. Then we're going to choose middle position and center alignment. And once again, we have to select the images where we want to apply this watermark to. Let's click on add all and we're going to see a preview of the watermark. Great. So here is the watermark, copyright ETH, white font with a gray background and the box has a 20 points pattern surrounding the text. This is really cool because you can preview the watermark while you're creating it so that you can make all the changes you want to make it perfect. Let's add the watermark. Update. And let's go over to the product page. As you can see, the watermark is visible on the single product image and on the full size image. Remember, we chose to rotate the watermark 25 degrees. Now let's go over to the shop to see the watermarks there. So we have the global watermarks here. No watermark here because we chose not to add this product's custom watermark to this image in the shop. And then we have our new text watermark right here because we chose to apply it to all of these products images okay guys that's how you can create watermarks for your product images i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video